right, sweetheart. All right. Last hey. one. This is Last Johnny. one. How you doing? All right. Hey, Can man. Can you give us a quick little introduction? Okay. Hey, my name is? My name is Charles S. Dutton, and I play ah. Pops Davis awesome. in the movie The Express. And, and on a personal note, you're one of my, I mean, your acting skills, brother, is just on point. So let's get right into it. You play a grandfather, a young grandfather in the film, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah, be a young yeah. grandfather. Yeah, yeah. I play, I play uh, Ernie Davis's granddad, and he's the guy who taught Davis his values and how to go through life and how to deal with all the adversity and how to be a gentleman. And um, uh, so I had a good time playing that. Do people think this movie is just a football movie, or do they understand it's uh, exposing racial boundaries? Well, hopefully, you know, when they see it, they'll understand. It's about a time in America uh, when America wasn't so pleasant, and it's about it's, it's about that exposure, but it's also about how a, a certain individual dealt with it without rancor, without anger, without confrontation. Uh, uh, so it's more than a football movie. You. You will laugh, you will cry, you will be inspired by this thing, um, um, and, 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 and women are going to love it. Okay. Women, women are going to love this movie, and don't have to worry about knowing anything about football. Right. It's a good story. <laughs> now, um, obviously back then we went through racial boundaries, and we're going through some really good times right now, potentially Barack Obama. Do you have any feelings or opinions on that? Listen, I don't mind uh, making it quite known who I want for president. Okay. It's Barack Obama. And, 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 and why? And, and, and well, 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 listen. Listen, what other choice do we have? We need a change. You know what I mean? In my, but what other choice do we have? If that half of the country that's going to vote the other way, hopefully they will come to their senses and finally vote their real interest. And what I mean by that, if they, they won't vote their interest, no matter how many of their children are dying in a, in a, in a war we shouldn't have been in, no matter how about how much gas will cost a, a gallon, no matter how they're losing their farms, foreclosing their homes, they still won't vote their interest because of some misguided sense of patriotism. Not patriotism, a misguided sense of patriotism. So, I mean, you listen, look at those two candidates on the other side, McCain and, and, and Palin, and if you don't see, if you don't see fault in that, then Wake you know <laughs> you you ought to uh, trade eyes with Stevie yeah. Wonder. And I know you got to run in there real quick. I wanted to tell you one of the most inspiring lines is from a movie that you did, another football movie, uh, when you were talking to Rudy in five the movie. Five foot nothing, a hundred and nothing. Uh, can, can we go one? through that just a little? You're five foot nothing, a hundred and nothing, and you hardly got a speck of athletic ability. What else was it? What else was it? Oh man, you're five foot nothing, a hundred and nothing, and you hardly have a speck of athletic ability. But you hung in there with one of the best teams in the country. And I can't remember the rest. That was so inspiring <laughs> in everything you do, and I'm honestly very proud oh, well, to hang you. out with you. And uh, good luck thank on you. the film. It looks like it's going to be awesome.